Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Like and Dark Trap and welcome back to a new episode in our channel. So, in the last episode, we were finally able to finish the game by eliminating the last few, uh, the last couple factions. On the meantime, we were able to explore a little bit of the, um, the primal plane and we saw the entire map at the end of the game because we explored enough of it. And yeah, it was uh, quite nice to discover some things in there that I will probably be able to use the knowledge that I've gained there. Uh, I will probably be able to use it when I play as one of the factions that that needs the, um, the forest tiles or the primal forests and the ancient forests. So yeah, that's uh, quite nice to know. Uh, this time, we are going to start playing as the Cobbled King. And we're going to play in a large size map just because I would like to have a little bit of time to be able to develop the, um, the Cobbleds. And this could be detrimental, okay? Um, because a larger size map means that there is more time for us to develop, but at the same time, the enemy factions will also have a lot of time to develop their own armies and do remember that the kobolds are pretty weak physically so yeah uh, but you will see later on what i'm talking about uh, when i say that the kobolds are a little bit on the weaker side um okay so i am going to play in the dark ages i don't really know which age or society they are the cobbles have the most advantage uh could obtain uh, the most amount of advantages so for right now i'm going to play in the dark ages just because i would like it if we had many natural formed uh, mines mountain mines because mountain mines will be our main source of not only income uh, but also main source of our armies because once we are able to colonize these mountain mines then uh, those mountain mines will start churning up a lot of units for us um, albeit they are mostly melee units at the start but then we will see later on okay here we will we have chosen the dark ages let's go for okay we are going to go against oof do they go for count or i'm gonna go for baron for right now because i'm not really sure let me count yeah count is a little bit powerful i'm also gonna go against random unique random players so that's gonna be um a risk for me okay that because if i were to choose count difficulty this time against for example a human unit or another another faction that have access to a lot of powerful mages then the game will be over for me because i'm gonna play as the cobbled king and cobbles as i have said already countless times probably they are pretty weak <clears throat> so this is the lore let's read it so cobbles are small humanoid reptilians that claim the conic ancestry they thrive in mines and caverns where they build hatcheries and reproduce at a prodigious prodigious rate. A cobbled hatchery will soon flood the countryside with swarming kobolds. Sometimes a cobbled shaman will establish a stronghold in a hatchery, improving both the defenses and the rate at which eggs are hatched. If a cobbled prophet or cobbled king were, would emerge, the power of to harness the magic of gems in incubating eggs is further increased and winged elite kobolds, known as dragon spawn, will be available. Cobbles come in five colors, four of which are affiliated with the powers of a specific gemstone, like yeah, blue cobbles for the sapphires, I think, uh, red cobbles for the ruby or ruby. Um, white cobbles, which are my favorite, are related to the diamonds, and then the green cobbles, I think, are related to the emeralds, and then there are also the black cobbles. Yeah, I think those are the five types. Okay, um, red cobbles are a few. Oh, look at that! Ah, they're they're going to actually say it. Okay, I haven't read this 
first part before of their description but okay red cobbles are affiliated with the magic of rubies and will create their hatcheries where the fiery power of rubies are uh, will enhance and incubate their eggs so that just means that uh, to hatch or to create red cobbles you will need a mine that's that will also give you gems of the related color right like for example for the red cobbles they need rubies so a mine that that produces rubies okay so all red cobbles are resistant to fire and flames and their shamans bring fairy magic to the battlefield that's pretty useful um, so yeah so since they the various co cobbles colored cobbles have their own uh, related uh, gems that also means that their magic units related to those gems will have the related powers uh, i don't know if i've explained myself but you will see soon anyway so green cobbles gain the power of from emeralds are resistant to poison and use poison in combat so this is a pretty good advantage for the green cobbles uh, blue cobbles are affiliated with the icy magic i think we've already seen these blue cobbles before because they were the um, cobble faction we fought in the last episode so yeah uh, icy magic they, they can also they have cold resistance and can hide and move un unhindered in cold climate so <clears throat> if the blue cobbles are from the north northern side of the map then that will be a pretty good uh, a pretty good advantage for them so their shamans use frost magic white cobbles are affiliated with the thunderous powers of diamonds uh, many white cobbles are gifted with wings and are able to fly that's that's why i like the white cobbles a lot just because they can fly so they are really fast when they travel through the map i'm at least for the um, uh, what do you call them for the winged cobbles, like for the for example, some some of their captains are winged cobbles. They are really powerful. I like them a lot. Their captains or are they king or chieftain? I think. Okay, but then finally there are the black cobbles, rare and enigmatic. They do not found hatcheries as do the other cobbles. They can draw power from all kinds of gems, but at a higher cost. Black cobbles are masters at stealth and they serve as scouts, murderers, and dark mages. Black cobbles are just a bit, a little bit special. Um, but it doesn't really give you much advantage. At least for the um, things that I have saw at, at until now, I wasn't able to see that much advantages that they have over the other types of cobbles. So here are the abilities of our new race here. Uh, cobbles come in several co colors, each with their own strengths, but are all weak. <clears throat> they are all really weak. Kings and prophets enable the recruitment of dragon spawn. I was able to recruit a prophet before. I think it was like a black cobbled prophet, but I I wasn't able to recruit a king before. So that's something I I would like to discover during this uh, series. So great minds and Cobbled strongholds produce free cobbles corresponding to the gems produced in the mine. So blue cobbles from the sapphires, red cobbles from the rubies, and so on and so forth. The cobbled king shamans, uh, the cobbled king shamans, and the sorcerers collect gems. Yes, gems can be used for magic rituals to create strongholds, traps. Um, traps we will see be later. Before uh, later. Uh, we, before we already saw it uh, when we were sieging one of their bases uh, or summon guardian dragons guardian dragons are pretty powerful defensive units remember we fought a dragon and we hunted a dragon before a blue dragon a frost dragon with our storm giants and frost giants so we cannot recruit humans in castles or other special locations so that's something real unfortunate for us because we cannot recruit mercenaries so that's a pretty big detrimental thing because even though mercenaries aren't really the bulk of your armies they could i mean last last episode last time in the last series we were some of my armies were made out of a lot of uh, mercenaries since i had a lot of gold so yeah baron okay everything's here is set let's start
hopefully I will start with the white cobbles. I'm crossing my fingers here because I really like the white cobbles. Please. Nope, oh, blue cobbles. Okay, that's fine. Wait, what was that one? I didn't read it. Okay, blue cobbled chief. Okay, so now we have the blue cobbled, which is fine, even though it's not really the best. And also we spawned near these guys. Yeah, I think I'm, this is not a good spawn here. This could be a disastrous spawn because I don't have that many resources here. Dude, another thing that I really don't like about uh, the other, let's say, colored cobbles like these blue cobbles guys here, they only have slings instead of of bows. So that's not enough. Uh, the white cobbles instead have like arrows, bow and arrows. So they are, in my opinion, more powerful. Okay, let's see here, a captain. So, Rukiza, the blue cobble chief. Um, you can see here, since we are, we are the blue cobbles, we have snow stealth, cold resistance, and snow move, which is pretty good during winter. Among the warriors, certain cobbles excel and stand out among the rest. Some of some by being careful and questioning their orders, those are promptly fed to the dragons, and others by being cunning, greedy, and less craven. The latter are often allowed to command other warriors or sometimes even small societies of cobbles. When not given any orders by the shaman, prophet, or whatever necromancer that is currently dominating them, they will simply and happily turn to plundering nearby farms. So let's read the cobbled shaman. Uh, the shaman is often the most prominent of all, of all female cobbled. So our shaman is actually a female cobbled, it seems and runs the everyday affairs in any cobble tribe. She is in charge of organizing the hatchery and gathering gems, colored cloth, and other suitable accessories to adorn the hatchery, giving it the right color scheme in order to produce the right sort of cobble. Okay, so if you don't have the right, you know, um, they think about fashion. So if you don't have the right uh, fashion here, then the eggs will probably not hatch. So careful about that. Uh, even though the cobbles do this out of instinct rather than as a planned act, it is believed that this practice originated some time after the cobbles made their pact with the dragons. The shaman is also the one to call the, for the dragons according to their ancient pact. Cobbles and some scholars of lesser wit believe that the cobbles are related to dragons and that it is this kinship that allows for the cobbles to summon dragons. This is obviously false. The only things shared between the two species are their vanity, their lust for gold and glittering objects, their color scheme, and some other basic reptilian traits. Because of their belief that they are related, the cobbles bow before the ven and venerate the dragons, and the dragons in their vanity accept the worship of the cobbles, preferably Accompanied by an offering of gleaming gold and a few particularly crunchy cobbles. So yeah, that's also means that uh, to recruit dragons or to summon dragons, you will need to give up a little bit of gold and a few minor cobbles, cobbled soldiers. And in return, protect the cobbles as they see fit. Just like the lamprey, lamp ah, sorry, just like the lamprey clings on to and cleans larger fish, the cobbles enter the dragon's lair, protect it while it is away, and clean it of dragon guano. It is a well-kept secret that dragon guano is used by Hoburger arborists to fertilize their weed, giving it extra potency. So this is our cobble shaman. He is a level 1 spellcaster, not really the best. So he also has this uh, enable recruitment which enables us to recruit blue cobbled warriors and frost drakes, which is pretty nice. So let's see our special resource here is sapphire since we are the block blue cobbles. Later on we will have access to ruby, to diamond and emeralds as well later. But for right now let's see what we can do in special uh, things here. So special powers. Okay, like usual, we can do rituals of mastery, which is fine. 
And we have foretelling here, which sacrifices five cobbles. You can see here. Um, that's the requirement, and also needs one sapphire. And this will tell us, like, um, a nearby the the place of a nearby mine, I think, or maybe not. Wait, what? A few cobbles and a small amount of gems are burned on a sacrificial pyre. Through the fumes, the shaman can discern future cobbled strongholds. Yes, so this is very similar to the power of um, uh, of finding new mountain mines. For the, um, it is the same as the power of the dwarf queen. So let's see here. What can I do? I'm not really in a good position here. I don't like it at all. We already have a pretty powerful enemy, neutral enemy here, and that's not good. What's this? Marsh flower. Okay. You know what? Let's take this guy. I'm gonna leave the Frost Drake here for now. <sighs> okay, let's scout. Okay, we're, I think, in the northern side of the map, which is fine. That could be pretty good. Oh, okay, okay, this is good. Um, that's a, only a mine, though, and gives me emeralds which isn't really useful for me right now yeah what i would like to have is this guy here sapphires okay let's end the turn for now this is going to be really slow you guys really slow black cobble chief oh let's go here nothing okay there's nothing here oh look at that so our place here just spawned three more cobbles three additional blue cobbles which is um the thing that i said before that's how they create their armies let's scout a little bit oh that's good that's good i want to go there oh really okay you know what Let's go here. Oh, dude. Dude, Hydra Hatchlings? Are you serious? Hydra Hatchlings. Oh, that's not good. Oh! No, we were ambushed. Are you... No, dude. This is going to be so painful, isn't it? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yep, those were bandits. But bandits also means either a bandit hideout or maybe... Oh, that's good. I, I want to, to get that Colossus right now. That's great. That's great. I like that we can have the Colossus. Okay. Those bandits, where did they come from? I was hoping it would be a settlement of sorts somewhere, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Cobbled Murderer. Okay, that's fine. No, no, no. We cannot do anything here. Right now, not yet. Okay, nothing here. Let's go back to base. Dude, I think we need to fight against these guys. Okay, let's go here. Oh, ancient forest. Ugh, that's not good. That's pretty awful, actually. Ah, oh, this is pretty awful. There's already an ancient forest here. Ah, what? Do I even need to use ancient forest? I don't think so. Let's go here, fight these guys, and then activate the Colossus. Oh, Frost Drake, Frost Drake. Oh, that's good, that's good. Okay, so we have a limited number of cobbled slingers. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out, uh, take my cobbled slingers with me, go out, because I do know that if I were to recruit uh, a Frost Drake to summon one of them, I will need to sacrifice 10 cobbled. So by taking my range units, which are really few in numbers right now, we need like lots of gold to recruit slingers or range units, uh, 50 gold, which we do not have right now. So I'm gonna sacrifice only the normal uh, cobbleds for the frost drake. Frost drake, yeah, it's a large lizard-like being with a numbingly cold body and an icy breath. It might originate from the elemental planes, but if so, it has since adapted to life in Elysium. Whatever is its origin, the Frost Drake sometimes serves warlocks and other elemental entities. 
and now he will serve the kobolds okay now we're, we're pretty good now did we lose soldiers during this battle i didn't really see uh that's fine let's activate the location now it's one of our units oh wait are you controlling that colossus that would be so awesome if i was able to control the colossus unfortunately that's not the case i knew that Ah, there could be more units here. I'm not gonna risk going here, but I don't really like seeing this. Uh, this ancient forest so near our base. Another blue cobble chief. That's a bit costly. Okay, let's continue exploring. Let's go back here. Transfer. No. Wait. What can you do? Okay, you know what? Maybe it's worthwhile to... Oh, what's this? Oh! Oh, really? Dude! Okay, that's that's fine as long as you don't die. Good, that it's ours now. I think I'm gonna invest in foretelling for a single turn. Sort of. Okay, take these guys here. Go here and then use foretelling. Oh, that's pretty fun. Oh, diamonds. Nice. Where is it, though? Ah, oh, that's too far away, dude. You've missed the mark. I want something nearby. Because that is too far away. Uh, should we go for another one? Yes. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, goblins. That would have been so easy to battle against. Goblins. Yeah, this wasn't that good, wasn't it? Okay, there's a small farm. We're gonna take the small farm. Wait, what? Who attacked me? Oh, okay! Dude, that... These ambushes are making me feel really uncomfortable. Because I don't want to lose my units. Oh! Look at... Ah, dude! Wait, they, these are these are red. This iron mine produces red units, produces rubies. I'm pretty sure that this stone drake is not on its own. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there is like a small community of of units here. I think. Maybe even blue cobbles. But I mean this mine produces rubies that means it should be red uh, related to red um, cobbles that are related to red oh right yes um we did that okay that's fine let's go here transfer i'm gonna i'm gonna do something it's not good enough okay and turn Oh, another Frost Drake. Are you serious right now? Okay. I mean, Frost Drakes are pretty good. I'm gonna... Oh, dude, there's also another recruitment that I would like. The blood, the Black Cobalt Scout. That would be so nice. But, unfortunately... Let's see here. Uh, eight... No, seven. Oh, dude, seven. We need to sacrifice these many units. Okay, fine. Sacrifice those units, okay? Now we have another one of these. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I had to sacrifice three of my range units. Oh, yes! No! Not enough! Two gold! Two more gold required. That would have been so nice. That would have been too nice, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go here. Let's leave some of these takes. Uh, let's take these units instead. Ah, oh, dude. Ah, these aren't really that powerful. Okay, here we can, like, take 10. Okay. You, can you do something? Ah, you cannot do anything right now. Okay, uh, you know what? This guy isn't really that useful right now. Okay, this guy will stay here. Uh, my main leader will be the one 
going outside because uh, he's also a mage. Oh, Black Cobalt Murderer. Oh, that would have been so nice. He also has acute senses. And Black Murder. I think he has assassination and also I think he's a leader. Or maybe not. I'm not really sure. But that would have been really nice to have. Uh, let's go and conquer this place here. I think my army is enough. Yeah, this should be enough to go after this guy. Can we recruit units here? I could. I could recruit units there. Cobbled hatchery. I could uh, establish a cobbled hatchery here if I had enough units. Let's go here and fight them. Uh, they are only dwarves, so that should be easy enough for them to handle, hopefully. Okay, end turn. Look at that. These cowards are so weak. They are too weak, dude. Uh, okay, that's good. We conquered this place. Um, what I would like now is to have a cobble that can see invisible units that would be so awesome dude you're receiving damage from these guys really ah this is going to be so slow this is going to be so slow and it will make me worry a lot um i need this guy to become more powerful somehow what magic do you have cold resistance and pro frost not really the best combination. Also, I would like to upgrade this place as soon as possible. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna try for a Ritual of Mastery soon. With the Ritual of Mastery, I will try to get some... Oh! I'm just kidding. I am actually just kidding because there is a Frost Drake here that requires my full attention. A Frost Drake? And then this guy yeah i'm not gonna recruit you i mean you will give me access to black gobbles but right now i don't need that type of unit not yet but five five okay we have enough units here we will go here we will go here and recruit a frost drake Sac sacrificing another 10 of my units again I'm really hoping this guy won't attack me yet. Oh my goodness, he's too near. He's really near my base, and if he were, if he was to attack me right now, I would die. Definitely, I would lose the game. But not really, because I also have another base here. But yeah, that's still that's pretty much game over. Black cobbled murderer. Oh, really? Now you. Show yourself, you murderer! Oh, dude. We need to go back. Or maybe go here. Deal with the Hydra Hatchlings. Okay, let's go and deal with these guys. Transfer. Go here. Oh, you cannot move anymore. Oh, dude. Oh, this guy could die. Okay, good. My... My Frost Drakes, wait, are they called Frost Drakes? Yeah, my Frost Drakes were able to make easy work of that, uh, of that group. Uh, guys, weren't we able to, like, units with snow move can move through snowy, with snowy terrain without any movement penalty. Why are we... Why are we... Oh! Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, dude. That's not good. Yeah, this is awful because now we have this cobbled murderer that doesn't have snow move. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, this could become really awful. Oh, dude, that's... Ah, that's not good. Okay, let's see here. How many units? Okay, only 10. Okay, only 10 black cobbled. So that's easy. 
to handle. We will eliminate them and establish our first colony. But first, we do not have enough gold to... Uh, to recruit that Frost Drake, unfortunately. So, yeah, we cannot do that. Ah, that's not... But you know what we do? What we can do? Or maybe next turn we can do is to go here and uh, eliminate this place here. Unfortunately, this is a Stone Drake. So, you can see that it's really powerful. Uh, armor and lots of HP. Okay, and the turn. Oh! Stone Drake! Oh my god. Stone Drake? Really useful. I'm gonna recruit it. That's really useful. Let me see something. Oh, you're a frontliner though. Ah, that's bad. That's really bad. We could go here now, or... Or, I could take this guy and go here. No, actually stay there. Um, stay there, don't do anything that I wouldn't do. Blue Cobble Chief for 57? Are you kidding me? Dude, that's too much. Okay, Blue Cobble Shaman, that's pretty okay for Blue Cobble Shamans. Okay, enter. If I had a lot of gold income, that would be so awesome. But, nope, I do not have that. I do not have gold income. This would be nice. I would like to go here and conquer it. Go here. Let's go here. Okay, you're at minus three. That's bad. Okay, enter. Oh my, oh my goodness, look at this, guys. Oh, which year are we in right now? Year one, but we are already like in late spring and we are still in this small side of the map. Oh my goodness, this is going to be really awful. Whew. Okay, give me that guy. Use. And then I think next turn we will conquer this, uh, this place. Okay, go here. Then the other leader will go back to base. Sentry there. Okay, we are almost at 50. Oh my goodness. Don't be that fast. Let me at least uh, savor this, uh, this battle. Oh, another Frost Drake. Okay, that's something I really like to see. Now we have a pretty good defender here as well. That's good. And I do not have enough gold to build a new colony here. But I do have enough for a, uh, enough uh, of this thing here. Sapphires for a Ritual of Mastery. Cobbled Stronghold, which is like a level 2, um, a level two Cobbled Hatchery. Oh, that's good that's cool but not really i do not have enough gold i do not have enough gold iron is pretty easy to come by as a cobalt but gold is not easy to come by yet not yet uh we are producing two gold here you know what let's battle these guys here oh dude another one are you serious there are so many of you. Can we not recruit units here yet? Yeah, we, were prob we probably need to transform this one first. Should they go against these guys? Units. Okay, you're all alive. So that's good. I mean, can we even do anything if we were to conquer this one? No, not really. So you know what? Let's go here instead. Let's conquer this guard tower and... Let's see what will happen. Let's see the surroundings. If there's anything to... Oh, Cobbled Sorcerer. That's pretty good. But that's pretty costly as well. But yeah, Cobbled Sorcerer is like... Uh, it starts at level 2 and you can still upgrade it to level 3, I think. In terms of power, I mean. 
Let's go here. Nothing to see here. Let's attack this place. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so awful. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, nice. Oh, blue, blue cobbles. How many units did I lose in that battle? Dude, didn't we just attack or something? Okay, luckily these guys, my Frost Drakes, aren't losing HP, which I really like. I really love to see. Um, let's conquer this other iron mine. We need more gold. And I will probably try to recruit, or uh, yeah, I will probably try to establish a colony here in the red, in the ruby mine. I mean, ruby producing iron mine because I would like to recruit a shaman, a red shaman. That means uh, if I were to recruit a red shaman and uh, if I'm lucky enough to be able to learn uh, fire magic, I will be able to burn down some of these forest tiles. At least that's my intention. I don't know if it will, if it will happen though, because um, it also dip, it also depends on luck. So if I'm not lucky, then that will not happen. Go here. Okay, let's start exploring with this guy. I think I do have enough uh, units here to defend this place for now. So I can explore with my secondary leader. Oh, did you see that? My units assassinated one of them. Uh, it hurt him a little bit. Oh, red cobbled shaman. That's good. That's good. But red cobbled sha I mean not red cobbled shaman, sorry. Uh, red cobbled. I cannot recruit him. I cannot recruit him. Ah, that sucks. I cannot recruit him because I do not have a hatchery in this place. Let's go here. Okay, we will go here now. ASAP. Oh, dude, we are surrounded like by a lot of, by three ancient forests. Uh, okay, guys, for right now, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Um, I think we did pretty good. We conquered two mines already uh, for the first episode, at least. Um, maybe it's good progress. I don't know. But yeah, let's see what how it goes, okay? So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button down below. And also consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate that it a lot if you did so and you would also be helping the channel grow um, if you have any tips or tricks for me to play this faction or if you just want to say hi please do comment down below in the comment section once again guys thank you so much for watching the video i'm light and dark trap and i'll see you guys next time goodbye